Note. Where is by jurisdiction? Note. Where is by jurisdiction an honor killing? Honor killing, or a shame killing, is the murder of a member of a family. Due to the perpetrator's belief that the victim has brought shame or dishonor upon the family, or has violated the principles of a community or a religion with an honor culture. Typical reasons include divorcing or separating from their spouse, refusing to enter an arranged child or forced marriage, being in a relationship or having associations with social groups outside the family that is strongly disapproved by one's family, having premarital or extramarital sex. Becoming the victim of rape or sexual assault. Dressing in clothing, jewelry and accessories which are deemed inappropriate. And engaging in non-heterosexual relations. Though both men and women commit and are victims of honor killings. In some cultures the code of honor has different standards for men and women. Including stricter standards for chastity for women and duty for men to commit violent acts if. Demanded by honor. In some cases. The honor code is part of a larger social system that subjugates women to men. These asymmetries, combined with the predominance of heterosexual relationships and male perpetrators of violence, mean honor killings are disproportionately violence against women. Prevention and punishment of honor killings and similar crimes of passion are issues of interest to local and international advocates for women's rights, men's rights, LGBT rights freedom of religion, and groups against domestic violence in general. Honor killing is a type of domestic violence in the broadest sense of violence within a family. Special treatment of crimes of passion apply whether or not the killing is made in the name of honor. But perpetrators of honor killings can benefit from these rules, and the exceptions raise similar objections from anti-violence advocates. Human Rights Watch defines honor killings as follows. Honor crimes are acts of violence, usually murder, committed by male family members against female family members who are perceived to have brought dishonor upon the family. A woman can be targeted by her family for a variety of reasons including refusing to enter into an arranged marriage, being the victim of a sexual assault, seeking a divorce, even from an abusive husband, or committing adultery. The mere perception that a woman has acted in a manner to bring dishonor to the family is sufficient to trigger an attack. Men can also be the victims of honor killings by members of the family of a woman with whom they are perceived to have an inappropriate relationship or by partaking in gay activities. In some cases of honor killing that were brought before German courts murder charges have been reduced to manslaughter. This has been called the honor defense. Many honor killings are planned by multiple members of a family, sometimes through a formal family council. The threat of murder is used as a means to control behavior, especially concerning sexuality and marriage, which may be seen as a duty for some or all family members to uphold. Family members may feel compelled to act to preserve the reputation of the family in the community and avoid stigma or shunning, particularly in tight knit communities. Perpetrators often do not face negative stigma within their communities, because their behavior is seen as justified. Honor killings of older victims are often perpetrated by the husband, but in 44% of cases, the killers also include family members of either the victim or the husband. Honor killings of younger women were in 81% of cases perpetrated by their family of origin and 53% of the younger victims were tortured before they died. The incidence of honor killings is very difficult to determine and estimates vary widely. In most countries data on honor killings is not collected systematically. And many of these killings are reported by the families as suicides or accidents and registered as such. Although honor killings are often associated with the Asian continent, especially the Middle East and South Asia, they occur all over the world. In 2000, the United Nations estimated that 5,000 women were victims of honor killings each year. According to BBC, women's advocacy groups, however, suspect that more than 20,000 women are killed worldwide each year. Murder is not the only form of honor crime. Other crimes such as acid attacks, abduction, mutilations, 
and beatings occur. In 2010, the UK police recorded at least 2,823 such crimes. Methods of killing include stoning, stabbing, beating, burning, beheading, hanging, throat slashing, lethal acid attacks, shooting, and strangulation. The killings are sometimes performed in public to warn the other individuals within the community of possible consequences of engaging in what is seen as illicit behavior. Often, minor girls and boys are selected by the family to act as the killers so that the killer may benefit from th.